Hey guys, I'm back and we are playing Modern Warfare 2. Today we're going to be checking out a blueprint that you can earn for yourself for free, sort of, as long as you own the game. Uh, but yeah, if you own uh, the premium title Modern Warfare 2 uh, and you play the campaign, complete the campaign, there are rewards to be earned. And uh, today we're going to be checking out the blueprint reward that you can earn by completing the entire campaign. Uh, now, I believe you can just complete it on any difficulty. You're not like locked into like completing it on veteran difficulty or something like that. And you'll still earn these rewards, uh, specifically this blueprint, once you've completed the full game storyline. Let's check it out. There are other rewards that, uh, you know, like some operator skins and stuff like that. But we're specifically checking out the blueprint today. So yeah, we're going to be checking out the Union Guard M4 blueprint that you can earn by completing the campaign. That's what she looks like. Well, let's play the preview animation and get a closer look. I mean, honestly, not the fanciest of blueprints, but I had honestly completely forgotten this blueprint even existed uh, until a recent video from a, a YouTuber, uh, Expresso. Uh, his uh, recent video like showcased all these blueprints that you could potentially earn for free and this was one of them I'm like, oh my god, I forgot about it uh, Let's play some Games and try it out because that was the plan. I was planning on checking it out, but I had just forgotten it existed uh, Because uh, the campaign was uh, early access for a lot of us who had pre-ordered the game including me and uh, We didn't actually have access to this blueprint until the multiplayer came out and then when I did the grind for the like camos and all that, I kind of avoided blueprints because it caused issues when you changed attachments in the early days. Uh, so I never ended up using this blueprint at all and then completely forgot I had earned it. But yeah, complete the campaign on any difficulty and you'll unlock this blueprint for yourself. Mm -hmm. So this blueprint comes with five attachments. It's not pro-tuned, so you can make adjustments to the attachments and such uh, without messing up any pro-tuning or anything like that. It comes with the aim op V4 optic, which is precision sight picture at the cost of aim down sight speed. The SZ1 milliwatt uh, PEQ laser, which is aiming stability, no cons. The 11.5 inch TH4 barrel, which gives you aim down sight speed, hip recoil control at the cost of damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. The FSS Covert V muzzle, which is sound suppression, bullet velocity, and a recoil smoothness at the cost of aim down sight speed and aiming stability. The Lock Grip Precision 40 Underbarrel, which gives you hip fire accuracy, recoil steadiness, aim walking steadiness at the cost of aim down sight speed. And yeah, those are the four, the five attachments that you get with the gun. Let's uh, make some adjustments and see how it looks. So obviously if you change the barrel or remove it, you're gonna lose the uh, Union Jack. But that's the British flag, right? Union Jack is what they call it. What's up, Caleb? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Dude, you know, a lot of my controllers are like kind of on the older side now. And I'm getting a lot of drift on them. Like the white one that I was using, the yesterday's one. It's drifting so much. Not my aim so much, but it is caught there is some pull to the drift. And then when you like try to do like fine-tuning, like certain things like checking the mini-map and stuff, or like the map on DMZ and all, it's just drifting so hard. It's time I think I need to replace them, unfortunately. 
I, I don't know about the one I'm using currently. If it's got like massive drift also issues, I can't remember. I have ordered the new PlayStation Edge controller, but that isn't releasing for like another month or so. Not yet receiving that. And I don't want to order another controller beyond that. I'll probably just end up using that as my main controller once I get it because it's kind of pricey. Yeah, it's all good. Caleb, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. See, those are what the those are what some of the attachments look like if you swap them around. Uh, let's go ahead and check out camos. That's what some of the base camos look like on it. Gold. Still can see the flag. Oh, platinum looks pretty nice with the flag being a little more prominent. Polyatomic. And then Orion. Yeah, Master Camos look all right on it. it. Retains the flag, like I said, in every circumstance. I think uh, Platinum looking the best. So yeah, that's what you get once you complete the campaign. That's the blueprint you earn. Let's jump in and try it out in a few games. And you're not sitting in front of the TV. She's guaranteed coming back to sit in front of the TV. <sighs> my most loyal viewer, my cat. <laughs> she stick her face right into the TV to watch my gameplay. Come here, Punky. What are we? Come here. My oldest and most sensitive one. What happened, Punky Punky? Yeah, I didn't do much for New Year's, just... Uh, Chill to watch TV and stayed up late eating snacks, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> but yeah, I stayed up a little late and slept in. Jeez, are you kidding? Loading! 
Oh, what a bad time to reload. <clears throat> spot. What's up, Baka? Oh, congrats, dude. Congrats. That's huge.
UAV active. Too many jumps. Oh, by the way, what's up, Perry? Good work. Not really. RJ, what's up? Happy New Year's, man. I, oh, jeez, I missed all your comments. Perry, sometimes I wonder if you even listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't care about the next season of uh, Rogue Company. I'm more concerned about completing this season's of Rogue Company. Once I complete this season, then I think I can be more excited about next season. <laughs> this season's going so slow, dude. I was thinking I'd probably play some Rogue Company after this. As the bonus section. And I need to grind out that Rogue Company battle pass. But yeah, I don't care about the next season. Right now, I'm concerned about completing this one. Plus, I can't really ex exactly be excited for a next season when I don't know anything about it. You know, once I see like the content and see what potential potentially is going to be given for the next season, then you know I'll get excited by it. Just randomly being excited for the next season with no information for it is kind of weird. I, I know you mentioned some stuff, but I'm guessing you, the stuff you've mentioned is just speculation. It's not uh, confirmed. Yeah, yeah. The only way I'm going to be excited about next season is like when stuff are like confirmed. Same goes with Call of Duty. I can't really be excited about the next season of God. Until like things get confirmed or domination. Securing Alpha. Six. We control Alpha. Enemy in the air. <laughs> Bravo. Max. Ready for Enemy the Oh, God. I should have put up the UAV. Copy that. UAV off secure. Bravo. Securing objective. Bravo. Surprise, cabron. Loading. We're taking Bravo. Dude, that guy on the bottom, what was he looking at? Alpha. We've lost Charlie. 
Objective Alpha secure. Enemies taking Bravo. Friendly UAV online. No, I ran out of bullets. God, they all lined up for that. Dude, what am I doing? Charlie. 
Let's throw platinum on for this one, for the mastery one. Dude, how many hit markers am I getting, dude? UAV active. 
Hostile care package deployed. <laughs> Dude, what is going on? Fucking idiots.
Good. Enemies inside the perimeter. Location updated. Capture the hard point. Hostile chopper gunner overhead. I was going on that whole Fish game. Failed. Return to base. What's up, Sleo? Happy New Year. So yeah, that was the gun uh, as you get it from uh, completing the campaign. No adjustments whatsoever. Now we're going to try out my build. Now I have made a slight adjustment to my build, but I think this is the better build. So hopefully it works out. But for the most part, it's the same. High tower, 20 inch barrel. Same as what I used to use. Cronin Mini Pro. The Tempest P80 Strike Stock. This is the change I made. Instead of using the X10 grip for the sprinter fire and aim down, I'm using the Seiken uh, ZX grip for the recoil control. And uh, then the FSS Shark Fin. This is the blueprint, but uh, because we've changed around the attachments, we've lost most of everything. Uh, visually, I guess that magazine's still there and whatever that number on the body is. But yeah, it looks pretty basic once you've changed around the attachments. So I'm going to just throw on gold. Ooh, we almost completed this mastery challenge, so definitely let's throw gold on and have that completed. Since uh, it looks basic anyway. Let's make it look pretty. Oh god, shipment. It's not gonna showcase anything, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I have to deal with shipment on occasion, I guess. Although, maybe we can go this. This a bomb squad on it. Let's end uh hard point.
Really? Uh, I'll probably do Rogue Company bonus. Not gonna play. Yeah, I'm thinking Rogue Company today for bonus section. The spawns in this is still jack. Flash myself there. Spawn me right into the mortar strike. Thank you very much. God, these spawns are awful. I don't even know where to look when I'm spawning in, because uh, you can spawn in so random. <laughs> what the fucking genuinely awful. Bro.
located. Use an asteroid soldier mice. Secure the area. No, what the frick was that spawn? No, what the frick? I didn't mean to do that. Yep. Yep, that's him though. I know, I know. Yeah, that's why I'm not like super interested in DMZ and all man. I, I find it like very shallow gameplay and like kind of like in that buggy state like where like the little rewards you have in game you potentially could lose at any point because you just lag out or something and uh yeah, it's not terribly impressed with uh, the dmz mode I, just, I honestly just find it very shallow this is my, that was my build honestly couldn't even really try it out properly because it's shipment but eh, whatever I want to try out the Seiken thing, the, the recoil control thing, and see if it was an improvement to the X10, but I honestly couldn't tell, man. I just, shipment being shipment. For this next build, we're going to try out a guest build, and uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of the stream, I had completely forgotten about this Union Guard blueprint. I had, when I earned it, I had intentions of checking it out post completing the camera grind, but I had forgotten about it. Uh, and it was because of Expresso's recent video where he was talking about the free blueprints that you could potentially earn in the game currently, and this was one of them, the Union Guard at least, not this particular build, but the Union Guard. So I decided to showcase one of his builds. Uh, I believe this is one of his Warzone long range builds. So 
built for Warzone, but a little more long range stuff. Recommends the Cronin Mini Pro, the High Tower 20 inch barrel, the Zulu 60 in 60 muzzle. Uh, it's a suppressor with recoil control. So, F Tech Ripper under barrel and uh, the 60 round mag. Uh, so, I, I don't know how recent. Uh, a video this was i think maybe early season one was this this was his recommended build but uh yeah i just decided to check it out uh he also did showcase some of his tunings that he did for the like guns like so this is actually probably the first time i'm using a tuned blueprint that i bothered to tune due to his recommendations like obviously i've used the pro tuned blueprints or whatever that had tune in uh, but i've never actually bothered messing around with the tune and personally so he recommended the Cronin Mini Pro, but with the, the eye position at maxed out, so it's far, and then the flinch resistant at uh, 1.94. So that was the eye thin. His tune in for it, recoil steadiness, I think was 0 0.27 with uh, the damage range at uh, 0 0.32. So this one's not maxed out in any way, but there is like subtle things. I think if you max it out, apparently like it starts hurting the gun a little bit. For the muzzle, he wants uh, the recoil smoothness at 0 0.63 and uh, max out the aiming idle stability. When I tried to like put it on 0 0.63, it kept on bouncing between 0 0.64 and 0 0.62. And then when I backed out and then re-entered it, it had 0 0.63, like it had readjusted it to 0 0.63, I guess. So I, I don't know what was going on with that. But yeah, like I put it on 0 0.62 and then when I came back to it, it was 0 0.63. But he had recommended 0 0.63, but I just couldn't get that tuning slider onto that number when I was trying to like thing. But like I said, once I backed out and re-looked at it, it had already auto-set it. And then uh, he recommended maxing out uh, the recoil stabilization and uh, aiming idle stability maxed it out uh, yes maxed it out i think for the under barrel the ripper so that's his tune in for the gun decided i'll go ahead and utilize it and um, try out his build again this is his long range of war zone build so i have to throw on platinum on there Nah, man, that's and uh, like I checked with the dragon. He said he's not in for today. And, and since I didn't hear from you, I decided to do this stream. So, I would have been down if you had like mentioned it a little earlier. I've been like, yeah, all right, let's do it. Even without dragon, I'd have been down to join you. But uh, now that I've done this one, I'm just gonna play some rogue. Why don't you join me for rogue company bonus section? Have you downloaded Rogue Company at all? Yeah, I'll link uh, Expresso's channel in the description if you guys want to check him out. Dude, how did they already have a chopper? Um, I, I'm like tempted to just back out of this. Yes, I'm backing out of this, dude. Dude, there's no way, dude. Early game and they've already got a chopper. Forget it. Why am I wasting my time on that one? Rogue Company isn't worth playing. All right. Yeah, just playing for fun, dude. It's a fun game. Dude, honestly, DMZ is not worth playing, in my opinion, and certainly not building 21, but I'll still play it. All right, no worries. I'm not playing this one either. Yeah, 
yeah, rock company is sort of like in the dying states state. I feel near it is in the dying stages of the life, but I, I still enjoy it. I still enjoy it. I play Rogue Company every week, dude. So I play it from time to time. It's not a very big file either, Death Sender, but uh, it's okay, dude. I, I'm not here to like beg you to like play Rogue Company with me. I don't really couldn't care less if you don't do or don't join me on it. I didn't make the game. Like, I'm not like offended if you don't like it. All shadows get switched on. We may have... Yeah, it's all, it's all good. I understand. Uh, the same goes with like Apex and Destiny for me, man. Like, uh, I don't see myself playing those games. So, yeah, I, I deleted those games off like my hard drive too. Hard point. So uh, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. It's a really slow gun. It's a really, really slow build. I mean, I guess for Warzone, it doesn't matter as much. Enemy targets at the hard point. The enemy is confirming next hard point. Stand by. Also UIV in the area. It's such a slow build. Hostile V sold in the area. Enemy counter UAV is Hardpoint secure the area. Locating the next hardpoint. Get ready. I'm leaving this. <laughs> dude, this build's trash, dude. I hate to say it, man. This build's really trash. It's way too slow. Uh, but uh, we'll try to get a game with it. Nah, that's end. I'm not gonna try your build right now. But we'll try it another day. You can share it if you want. But yeah, this build's like, dude. I don't know where the fuck he's. I mean, maybe it's good for D, like uh, Warzone, like long range. He he did say long range build, so maybe I shouldn't be pushing with it and playing it like an LMG or something. We'll find we'll, we'll find some gameplay for it. We we'll get a game. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good at all for like uh, multiplayer. Oh, what's up, Caleb? Welcome back. Mm. 
Like you move slow, you aim slow. Slow. And I'm lagging a little bit. Securing objective Bravo. Bravo secure. Taking the lead. Enemy Loading. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. It's so slow to aim down sights, like it's like legitimately like an LMG. Got one. Securing objective Alpha. We're losing Bravo. I'm with you. The enemy controls two objectives. Bring the UAV online. Cold blood is online. Dude, I can't. I don't know, man. I don't know about this dude's tune in either, man. I think it's kind of weird. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't really play Warzone enough to like be like, yeah, this is a, a good Alpha. Warzone build. But it is definitely not a good multiplayer build. Alpha secure. <laughs> Make it in time. Objective Alpha secure. We've 
taken the lead. We definitely get a lot of range out of it. But you can't see anything, man. They all look so small. With this, uh... Did he just walk into his own flare like a dumbass? I think he did. We control all objectives. Maintain the perimeter. The enemy took Charlie. Enemy UAV active. Wait, the aim so slowly. It's like miserable. Like, it, it, you know, like when your aim is so slow that you can cringe. Because of its speed. Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Wait, what the fuck is going on, dude? Objective Bravo secure. We've taken the lead. Oh, frick. I saw like all the teammate there and then I realized. Like, dude, he had like three shots on me by the time I had to aim down sights. Dead, Jesus Christ. Enemy UAV active. We're gaining ground. Don't let up. Enemy securing Alpha. Enemy securing 
What the fuck was that circle, dude? Oh, it's that. I think the flag popped up or something. Dude, yeah, th this build is awful, dude. It's so fucking bad, dude. Alright. I, I like Expresso, but uh, I don't know about this one. Again, maybe it works good for long range and Warzone. But man, it's not good. This is a problem, man. You fucking do all this weird tuning and this, that, and the other, and it's just like, dude, what are you doing with this gun, dude? Like, if you could see the stats on this, dude, you like the mobility and handling, you can see in the bars, dude. It's taking this fat, fat hit. And it's like, dude, what is the point of the M4 if that's going to take such a huge hit, dude? <sighs> It was like cringeworthy bad, dude. Like, again, it might be good for long range in Warzone, which is what the build is meant for. But in multiplayer, it does not work out. It just doesn't. Also, like, uh, the the reason they do this max out uh, far or whatever uh, thing is because it's basically reducing their, like, visual recoil when you do this kind of, like, far thing, right? But I don't know, man. I couldn't really even see the enemies properly because of it. Like I, they looked like specks when they like uh, should have been smaller. But yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll, I'll link his channel in the description. His content's usually news-related stuff and all, which is really good. Uh, but this build, I just can't get behind, dude. Usually I'll be like, oh, it's okay and all. But this is this was awful. Genuinely awful. It was like. So painful to play with. <laughs> so whatever. It's okay. I, like I said, it might work out well in like uh, Warzone. I, I couldn't tell you. I, I don't play Warzone enough to know. For this final build, I've just kind of built a cursed build. So this is the build. It's like uh, I made it like as small as possible. That's the curse on it. <laughs> Crown and Mini Pro, Demo, D50, Buffer Tube, the Seiken uh, ZX Grip, FSS Shark Fin, and the 7.5 uh, Tempest Firebrand. I'll try your build later, Death Sender. Not right now, man. It'll take me time to like put it together and stuff like that. I'll try it another time. I'll keep in mind, dude. I'm almost guaranteeing you there'll be like dozens of like M4 blueprints that I'll be checking out throughout this like game's life. So at one point in the time, I'll try out your build. Like I said, if I had uh, set up your build earlier, then I would have been all over trying it out. Honestly, any build would have been better than that, that build. I like Expresso's content, man, but that build was just a load of nonsense, dude. Again, it's a Warzone long-range build. It's not, it's not uh, but still, even for Warzone long-range, I think that it's not a really good build. I just think it's too slow. Like, I generally have, like, a reasonably decent long-range build when I'd play Plunder and all. And it wouldn't... It, that would still not be good for it. I just don't think so. I guess maybe if you got really good eyes and... I don't know, man. It wasn't... I, I don't know it wasn't enough to be able to be like, this is an awful build. Because I, I hate Warzone. The BR mode. But... That was rough to play with. That, that honestly felt like a cursed build. Like it was that rough to play with. Dude. But this might be even more cursed. We will find out.
behind the cars, really. No, there's three of them. I didn't even see the three little fools. The lead is ours. I'm reloading. Our UAV is in the area. We've lost the lead. Oh, are you kidding, dude? These guys are so fucking weird with their... No, 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 that was bad. That was so bad. That was so bad. Jeez, again, man. This is so pathetic of them, man. Stupid of me, One 
one requesting recon at this time. Copy that. UAV online and orbiting the AO. No. Mission failed. Return to base. What's up, Roy? Happy New Year. I honestly don't see them reducing the price beyond that 20%. That's a pretty big discount for them, though. But yeah, maybe, who knows? Unless you get like it in the store, like a, a store discount, you might find it. But usually digital copies, they're like way overpriced with the card titles. So yeah, this is like a little cursed build, actually kind of fun, not particularly practical. I, I honestly don't think it, excelled other than maybe like good movement but even then i like it was okay though like it was more functional because it wasn't as slow as um expressos <laughs> i don't know why man dude it was legitimately like lmg speeds on that expressos build it's kind of r really tough to use. Union Guard um, M4 blueprint checked out. It's uh, by completing the campaign, you'll unlock this blueprint. Uh, honestly, Death Sender, this is actually a good build. Like, uh, I, I know you mentioned like uh, you have like additions to it and all. Uh, to maintain the blueprint. And I'll definitely check out your build later on, like I said. But this was actually a decent build on its own. Like, it wasn't a horrible build. Like, I had quite a good success with the build. Um, get the Aim Ops V4, uh, like Aim Op V4 uh, Optic, SZ 1mm PEQ Laser, 11.5 inch uh, TH4 Barrel, FSS Covert V muzzle and the lock precision uh, underbarrel. Yeah, it's actually a decent build, like very usable and quite uh, good. <laughs> I was gonna say versatile. It, it, it is sort of a versatile build is what I put it as. Like it has a, a multi-use build for medium, uh, even Stealth, slightly longer ranges, uh, reasonable recoil, 
uh, good maneuverability, you know, mobility and stuff like that. So I honestly, I think it takes advantage of the M4 the way it should take advantage of the M4 as far as attachments go. Yeah, uh, camo coverage is also okay. You keep the flag, you know, in all the camos and stuff. So that was useful. <sighs> Just quickly showcase some of the other builds. There's my build. Honestly, I like my build, but I, we only got to try it out in shipment. But this is also a decent build. Um, Expresso's build, which is a war zone long range build. That's built extremely slow <laughs> mobility and aim down sight. So, yeah, don't don't run around with it. Don't uh, try to take on medium close range fights. You'll just get melted before you can even aim down sights. It's built too heavily like an LMG. That was my biggest issue with it. And like, I I get that uh, he wants to reduce the visual recoil with the Crone and Mini Pro, uh, with the tuning, having it further away and stuff like that. And I get that uh, mindset, but considering how slow it is, you want to pre-aim everything, right? And then it becomes really hard to see the enemies that far. And I guess it's because I'm old and all, it's a little tougher for me to spot them and all. I just didn't see the value in it. Like if you're going to build it this slow, you might as well just put on like a VLK optic, honestly, it's my opinion. Yeah, it was just it was just really tough to use in multiplayer. Uh, again, it's his Warzone long range build, so maybe you want to guys just want to try it out in Warzone and give me the heads up if it's a more viable long range build in Warzone. It was definitely beaming people at long range. It was just really hard to see them, like for me, uh, at those longer ranges. Uh, yeah. And in multiplayer, even the long range lines, people know where you're going to be standing. So it's not particularly hard to like them. Uh, and then this was my like curse build on the blueprint. Just like a compact M4 build. It was actually kind of fun. It was kind of fun, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Like it's more just uh, if you want to have a little fun with the blueprint, maybe try this out or something. But I. Not ideal or anything like that. It was fun though. So yeah, Union Guard checked out, had a little fun. No, I know, I know that, I know that. Like uh, I, this uh, for Expresso's build, he had actually given the tuning for the build. So this was all his tuning for it. Like, uh, he went really heavy on, like, in, in this case, why are you going so heavy on flinch resistance with an AR? Like, even in longer ranges, dude, why do you need that, like, high-end flinch resistance? Uh, this is all his tuning, recommended tuning from his video, too, man. Uh, again, going heavy on the range... Uh, because it's supposed to be a long range build. Like honestly, my personal opinion is I would wager this build might not have been as bad if you just removed all the tuning. If you just didn't have the tuning and just had the attachments, it might be a little more functional. But because he tuned it so heavily for like the long, the range, right? He's just absolutely destroyed aim down sight speed and uh, destroyed the mobility of the gun. Yeah, th this is all his like recommended tuning. Yeah, I, I don't know if I, like I said, it might be good for Warzone, but it's not, it's not a, it's not a viable build for multiplayer. Maybe for ground war or something like that, you can probably get away with it. Yeah, the flinch resistance on an AR seems so pointless, dude, I feel like. Even at, if you're doing long-range builds, like, for an AR, you don't need to go so heavy on the flinch resistance. Like, again, it's just tuning, so it's not really going heavy, like, but it is, like, taking a hit on the aim down sights for flinch resistance, which I feel like is, like, what's the point, dude? 
Um, yeah, yeah. It was the first gun I, I tried to tuning due to like uh, creator recommendations, and I just wasn't feeling it. Just not feeling it. <laughs> but I do recommend Expresso's channel. I do enjoy his content. Yeah, that, that just that build just did not work out for me. Like I said, it might work out for other people. And uh, the bulk of his content is news content and stuff like that. So I do recommend it. Um, anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to do a little bonus section, but bonus section is going to be Rogue Company. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my old streams if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, Union Guard. It's a blueprint that you can get if you own the game. Play the campaign, complete it on any difficulty, and you'll have it. It's actually a good build the way you get it. And uh, yeah, I'm, the cons, the cons with this blueprint is that it's not particularly editable. Once you start changing things around, you lose the entire blueprint, it feels like, uh, especially like the barrel and all. And then it just looks like a default gun. Uh, but otherwise, it's a good build, it's not a bad build. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Bye. Blueprint, excellent build. Expresso's build, man, I struggled with that one. But uh, yeah, otherwise the M4 is a really good gun.